Hey YouTubers, welcome back. Now we're gonna take a look at our challenger for the best fish of the night, and it is a smooth dogfish. And let's take a closer look. Now the reason we know that it's a smooth dogfish and not a spiny dogfish is that first, spiny dogfish have spots all down their back, and this has no spots at all. Plus, we do not have a spine here. A and poisonous we, spine, nonetheless. Yeah, and we don't have a spine back here. They would be on the front, it looked like, of the fin. Now, on top of that, we do not have any visible teeth. It's mm -hmm. all smooth, and I can fit my finger down yep. here. Feels like sandpaper. He is dead. So, not, we're gonna, not he. Oh, she, and it is a she. <laughs> not and he. The reason we know that it is a girl is because it does not have caudal fins back Clasper. here. Or sorry, claspal fins back here, which normally trail behind, and it has female parts <laughs> for lack it's of a, a better girl. term it's a girl and this girl is 42 inches long 42 inches long now we're gonna play just like any fish and these actually are really good from what i've heard so we're gonna find out firsthand now when i first start filling a fish i want to i'm right-handed so i want to go back just like this now i have my bubble blade here all sharp ready to go and I'm gonna start just like any other fish except I'm gonna be really careful because I've never done one of these before and I feel a lot of tummy right here and I do not want to cut into tummy please don't that's why there's so, a towel on the counter I'm gonna start back here and I'm gonna just mark the backbone as I go nice and safe way to do it right down the backbone trying to keep it as clean as possible now these fish, fun fact is that they're caught off Massachusetts and they are sold overseas to London um, and they make fish and chips. And I think on here I got on the wrong side of the backbone somehow. So I'm gonna try again on this side and go back towards the tail. And make my way back. So sharp. <laughs> it is a very sharp knife and I definitely did go through the backbone with my first time forgive me but we'll clean that up here and we'll go on the correct side of the backbone. Just means you pre-cut for the other side. Yep. And we're gonna play just like any other fish. And oh. we've never done this before. I actually, oh. I did it right. I hit a vein right there. Yeah. No big deal. It grosses me out. Wow, look at that. It's nice white meat. It is fresh. It's good looking. Despite that little vein that I hit, which we're going to cut right out here. Just wash the gut, please. We're not going to cut into the guts. I'm just going to hold the filet up and really skin back slow. We're going above the ribs, and we're just hitting those bones Good baby. as we're flying. Now I can see the stomach's starting to expose a little bit, so I'm going to pull her back just a little more. And look at that, some nice, beautiful white meat. Wow, look at that. That's, a, that's like two meals worth. That is clean white meat, and uh, they sell it as fish and chips over across the pond in London. All right, so we're gonna flip her around and we're gonna do the same thing. Except this time, I know where to make my cuts. Now again, here we have lungs. We don't wanna cut into that. I'm gonna actually try to take a little more head meat on this side. So I'm gonna go back here, cut down the backbone. And just start peeling my meat back. Nice and slow. I'm not in a rush here. And have a nice sharp knife that's gonna make nice beautiful cuts. Now this is my first time again playing a dogfish. But I got a sharp knife and I'm intrigued and I want to know. So, going right down the backbone here, into my towel because it's bigger than my cutting board. 
But wow, I got nice white meat. And this looks good. I mean, I gotta admit, it sells for 25 cents a pound, but there's no such thing as a trash fish, only trash cooks. So we're gonna clean this right up. Take nice long fillets. Go above the fins. We got no use for fins here. Above the stomach. You can see I hit it just a little bit there, but gonna go right above the lung meat. And for my first time filleting a smooth dogfish, I'm gonna call that pretty darn successful. And look at that. There's even some more head meat. Bonus head meat right here. And boom, look at that. That is two really beautiful fillets of meat. That we'll put will, that aside. That'll feed us for a couple nights. We're gonna clean this up and come back to you in a minute. Hey YouTubers, welcome back. All right, we've uh, cleaned our cutting board up a little bit and now we're going to uh, skin the meat off uh, the skin. So let's check it out. So right now we have two really beautiful fillets. This is really nice white meat and I must say I'm surprised. Now the first thing you're gonna do before you skin any meat is you're gonna sharpen your knife. Now it does, you don't have to go fancy. You just get a little sharpener like that and just go four or five times real quick. No big deal because you just want to have it as sharp as possible. Now, with this, we're just gonna slowly. That was fast. <laughs> skin the meat off the bones. And I must say, this was really attractive meat. The skin is really tough on the backside, so it's skinning off the, the bones really quick. And. It's not like scales that just fall apart. Yeah, it's not like some other fish where. You know, you could easily cut through that backbone, or you can cut through the skin without trying. It's got a little bit of a bloodline on the skin, um, which is unique. But let's cut through this real quick and see what happens. Now I got a little uh, excited there and uh, messed it up a pressure. little bit. But that happens and all you gotta do. It reminds me of a striper fillet. Yeah, a little bit like a striper fillet. All you gotta do is make a little start and then we'll flip her over again and we'll uh, start over. That happens from time to time, no matter what type of meat you're uh, skinning. And it typically means you're going a little too fast. So we'll keep on playing this guy. And I really must say it's an attractive white meat. And I'm not surprised because this is not a trash fish. It is actually sought after overseas, mainly for fish and chips. So wow, look at that. Flip her over and that was a beautiful looking filet. We just have a little bit of skin left over and the same thing. This is my first time ever cleaning one. So you can hear that. Bear oh. with me. Yeah, you could hear that cutting right through it. <laughs> Same thing here. I'm just gonna take that off. Oh, I was hoping you could hear it. No big deal. Maybe on the other one. No big deal. Alright, we have a really long, beautiful looking filet, and it's all white meat. Let's try the other side. So this was a 42 inch fish, so we have a good amount of uh, meat that we have to clean up the skin here. And just like before, I'm just slowly, oop, I know that sound. That means I'm cutting through the skin. And I don't want to do that. And typically when I hear that sound, I'll straighten my blade out. And I'll go just slowly across. And I'm sort of doing the same thing I did last time. We're here at just such a long fillet, it just. So maybe we can hear it this time. We'll try and right, hear it this time. All right, so here I'm just gonna start separating. Get a little... I meant the skin. Get started. We'll flip her over again. And if you can't hear it, it's no big deal. It's just a very interesting sound compared to fish scales. 
So I started that fillet up. This is my first time ever filleting this fish. Wow, yep. I can hear that here. I hear it, yep. But I'm off the cutting board too. And this is such a long fillet that I really gotta move it across the cutting board that I'm using a couple times. But wow, look at that. Just slowly peel that skin off the meat. Wow, just like that. And it is a harder scale than a lot of other fishes that I've filleted. But man, does it make a beautiful fillet. Look at this. It's a nice long fillet. We're gonna cut this up into sections. Cut this one up into sections. Man, we're gonna have a feast. Wow, I can't wait to try this. Stay tuned. I'm excited to see how it freezes so that maybe we can have fish later in the year. And for my first time ever flaying, I wanna say I did a pretty darn good job.